Hello, welcome back. Last time, our entire team was together and open up a door and then split up into three different wings of this laboratory. Uh, so we got Botany Division, Genetics Division, and Zoology Division. Botany Division has one starfish in it that I've never gotten, so let's do that. Well, now what happened here? The goal in this room is for all three of us to be inside that sparkly box at the same time. It is? Huh? How did you know that? <laughs> Isn't listening to Guppy. <laughs> but she's not here to tell us about that. Oh dear. Okay, so, right. This puzzle. This looks a little different from how I remember. I remembered a complicated seaweed moving puzzle where... Okay, that's starfish. There? So, Snail gets it. Alright, I have Shelby, Colt, King Crab. We all gotta get in there? How do you imagine that's gonna happen? Well... I guess... We need to construct a floor... And... Some wall here, some wall here. Oh, Move those aside. It out, dear. I know, I can. Uh, and then drop down... Well, King Crab's the... Well, okay, all three of these creatures move extremely differently. So Shelby has to stick to an object. Colt can push things around. Um, snail on seaweed still works as seaweed, right? Okay, so first. Uh, you're not able to do anything for a little while here, so... You two can work together and... Do what, this? Yes? Now Shelby gotta get out of there. Okay. Um, hold on. I should really free Colt before I do, like, well, anything. now what happened here? The goal in this room is for all three of us to be inside that sparkly box at the same time. What? How am I gonna get up there? You crazy snail. <laughs> You'll find a way. Anyway, yeah, so you can't go through the bottom because it's only three wide and involves lasers. So you'll have to drop down from the top, in the middle, somehow. Uh, anyway, Colt. I would like Colt to be free. I think the way to do that is to do what I did. But then reverse course and... I'm wrong. Hang on, so King Crab gotta push this to the left. Which means he needs to be on something that's like here. And how are we gonna do that? Do the two of us still have to go on a longer adventure than this without Seahorse Buddy? Okay, in terms of movable objects that I can actually touch, this can go down a bit. That's immovable. That can go up and around. Okay, so I have this stick. I have this. I can possibly obtain it. this. King Crab can move that slightly, but not much. That's immovable. That's just a radiation spot. That's a radiation spot. What does this mean? Colt pushes this up and a snail is on here and gets the starfish and then snail gets back somehow? Ah, uh, but it'd be a lot easier to push it right and go up here and get this stairway out, which would be great for moving King Crab around. Yeah. Radioactive seaweed, that's silly. So, all right, Colt. How you gonna get out of there? I need King Crab in a place he can't seem to get. Seems like this is the only way I'm gonna start this puzzle. But 
Then I lose the one object that I think is what's supposed to help me get to there. Maybe I push it all the way over and then get it back. That's not possible. As far as I can tell. Huh. You wouldn't help us now. Yes, but... Now what? I can't lift this anymore. I guess I can... Lower that a bit. And then do nothing. What? So I was supposed to already have Colt by now. Well, now what happened here? The goal? Be nice if I could knock this down here, get King Crab on top of it, and then push left. So maybe that's what I'm trying to do. That's not something I can do, though. So he can only move left and right a little bit. And uh, could get to a situation where he can lift this if I put the snail there. Then that puts it on top, and nothing else can really happen exactly. What are you talking about? Hold up. Is there anything I can do with... Uh, well, no. No. Where do I have a choice? Nowhere. What'd you do that for? Just to remind myself that lasers do kill snails, the shells don't make them invincible. There isn't an interaction with, like, these two that I can use to somehow lift that back up. But yeah, okay, so if King Crab got on the other side and lifted this back up over here, then I would have a situation where I could, uh, free the seahorse. And I won't be doing much else with this object, so that's its sole purpose, I think. It's something about the way this moves back and forth is gonna help me with that? Or that's just an extra obstacle I have to navigate. Okay, well, I see some options. So okay for King Crab to be on the right side of that because that's where I want to be for pushing it back left. Huh. You wouldn't help us now. The issue though is that that needs to be farther right a bit, doesn't it? Why? So that I can get under it and lift it. Yeah, okay, I'm huh. seeing something. You wouldn't help us now. So, if I did these things, that wasn't quite right. Hmm. Huh. Well, I can climb back up over that again later after I've done this operation. So this has to move down at least once, maybe Three times? Let's say three times. Oh! Okay, so it still exists. Oh, jeez. Okay, things are happening. Well. Okay, no, hang on. Shelby is... Shelby's like... Ah, Shelby has merged with the object. When I do this... Ah, uh, this. The seaweed stops existing. So if I did... That, well, it also would... But yeah, so, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, that's weird. 
but it, I, I, I see how it makes sense. Okay, so I think this is correct now with that all the way there. I want to st Okay, so I want to not have done that yet. Hmm, how can I avoid having done that? Hold up, he can go in there directly. Okay, so Shelby goes here. Crab goes there. And that still doesn't work. Does it? No, I want to get back up on top to push this farther right before I can push it left. Like, this needs to be an L shape on top of you there. And yeah, with that, that's all you need to push the little, like, iron thing around, or whatever that is. Okay, so, hang on, why did I stop moving this right? Maybe I can keep moving it right. Ah, uh, no, it's huh. because he's gotta get it over it. Snap. Well, he can get over it here now, and that's enough. Okay, that's the sufficient amount. Okay, so... This goes down. I go up. This goes here, and there we go. That is how a baby seahorse gets rescued, right? So I can just push left for a while. Um, watch out, Shelby. That's fine. I don't have to do what I said. I can do a different thing. There we go. Okay, Cold is rescued. So, I think I have all the resources that are necessary to have at this point. The king goes up here and waits for the baby to do something for him. There you go, horse. You're a free Mustang now. <laughs> okay, so. If I just shove this over, I get this super great staircase object that is very handy for climbing many things. How am I going to get up here, like he says? That's a long way to go. You want King Crab to staircase his way all the way to here? Really? Okay, so that means... I mean, this is the closest land. Well, but then, then there's radiation here. So, what? How is he gonna get all the way up there? Oh, there are so many problems here. Like, these radioactive pipes? Just keep trying. I am. So there's enough... There's not enough room. No, no, no. Okay, so we all gotta be in the sparkly area. This means King Crab down on the bottom sitting on something that is here. That something's gonna have to not be a radioactive pipe. If I make a push to the left on this pipe. Ah, those two fall together. And occupy these spaces, but that space is still clear. Then I shove those left somehow. I guess you're standing on some sort of seaweed that has you, like... Or a sna No, a snail can't do it. Well, yeah, how's Shelby getting in here? How's anything happening? So, yeah, supposing I got King Crab up here. He's got to climb one higher to not die to this. I'll put some sort of seaweed lever like this or something in here. He'll shove left, these two will fall. Keep shoving left, I can go as far as having this pipe taking up these three spaces. Assuming I have some more seaweed, I can go a little farther. Since you're gonna have to go walk out Just on... Shut it. On something that is... Unless I have a piece of seaweed here, like this one. 
that is fully supported in this entire column, you're going to need to be on something here. And you're going to need to be on something sort of insulation from this anyway. So you'd be up one. So all these pipes need to move far enough left that they are taking up, like, those spaces, those spaces, and those three spaces. Because he's got to make a move left and fall down this shaft onto something. Okay, so that's sort of fine. All I got to do is put, let's say, this seaweed floor here-ish. So that's what he'll be standing on. Maybe this piece could block... That laser, this piece could block that laser. I'm still missing something. This piece exists. Okay, this piece could both block this laser and be his floor. Okay, I like that. So this piece ends up there. Uh, goes this far down. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't matter. I'm, you're going down on top of this. Then, sure, you fall. Colt can go down. Shelby, I guess let's just assume there's another bit of seaweed somewhere. The Shelby on it? That Colt can just kind of push in. Yeah, okay, so what would work is this thing, my, or this thing, my left laser blocker. Uh-huh. I could stick Shelby on it. It's there. So that's the protrusion. It goes down three from there. One, two, three. Insufficient. You'd need more. Uh, this goes down two from there. One, two. Insufficient. You'd need more. But this one didn't have a role in my setup there, so it could be what Shelby is stuck to. Somewhere down here. Okay, so Shelby stuck to some seaweed. Seahorse is floating above King Crab. King Crab standing on this seaweed, which is supported by those two pipes which have fallen. Uh, these three pipes have moved left, out of the way. You're standing on this, which is hung here. And that's how the end of this goes. Okay. Now, working backward from there. Uh, yeah, with Snail and Seahorse... Oh, I've cut off my snail. That's okay, I can get it back with this. Probably. Hold on, let's, uh... Let's address that problem first, just in case there's gonna be an issue I'm not anticipating here. I don't think there is. That should be perfectly straightforward. There was no need to preserve the piece of seaweed that's next to Shelby. No, it's fine. And yes, you remain seaweed propertyed in a way Colt can push. Okay, so I have pretty free range of motion with my snail. Let's collect up some bits of seaweed that will be useful. That one, got this one. Um, how is uh, you as far as crab ascension goes? Insufficient. But together with you as a floor, my crab could get up a little bit there. How could I possibly do this without this? It's probably going to involve King Crab lugging this object around for extra ascension. Okay, so let's just count, like, resources and ascension requirements. This can never move. I am I have to come in here because I'm going in from the top down. So King Crab must step on this platform. Therefore, a solid object must be here, here, or here. Something he can stand on. Okay. I hope Virgil isn't getting into any trouble. So from here, the closest place you could safely stand is... Mm, uh, the next place down you can safely stand is with some insulation here. Okay, so hang on. Um, as far as height goes... Uh, 
Don't have a lot. Ah, oh, snail was unnecessary for this. I could have just done it. Hmm. We'll find out what kind of trouble Virgil's getting into later. He's with Agent T and the other Shelby. They'll have their own little adventure. Okay, so that's the height that I currently have. This tool still exists. Still one short. Let's look at this whole situation. So I think what this means is if I want this extremely convenient staircase-shaped seaweed, I must push this right, making it impossible to ever get that starfish. There's a worrying amount of puzzle over here. Yeah, I understand it. King Crab is first going to have to climb in here to push this stuff left because I'm totally going to need that. <laughs> Hi Colt, you're here. So... I suspect... I'm going to somehow be platforming on this object? Are you serious? Probably. Oh, can I say this right now? I'm not committing to getting this puzzle done today. This looks like it involves too many problems for me to conceptualize and solve all in one session. So I could go for the basic way, ignoring the starfish and using the... See, but all the movement's going to be different there. I want to understand how to do the starfish movement. So, if I need this piece which I decided I did for the ending, then King Crab must climb all the way through there, plop down, not die to that, climb up here, push the stuff left, I'm just wondering about the possibility of saving this object. Maybe I don't need to... Uh, with this propped against that wall and a snail here, King Crab could climb out without any issue. Assuming I've moved this, which of course I would have. Okay. So, from where I am, uh, one of my first steps needs to be getting him up there. So it's going to have to be over this, not touching those, just shuffling bits of seaweed along until he can get all the places he needs to go. So there's like a bunch of movement principles that are going to be at work here. And I'll have to learn how they do their thing. Alright, so now you lock up again. So if I were doing that... That's sufficiently high and I can still pull it back out. Okay. That's pretty cool. Now you see, this is why you shouldn't dump your phosphorus into the ocean. I remember that line. Whoop. Whoa. Whoa, don't get close to that stuff. That's deadly. You learned the hard way. Okay, so now... Alright, so I can create a smooth surface of the snail here. Okay, I can do lots of things. In theory. Hmm. Create a smooth surface of the snail. Move you over. Well, that's no good for anybody. Is it? Okay, there are many things going on here. But I'm understanding some of them. I need to swap some positions. So 
So basically my plan is more or less to get him on top of that pole. Slide the pole over to the left using the snail to create smooth surfaces to do so. Which itself is kind of a pain, but... Oh, hang on. I see how I can uh, ooh, do that without as much trouble. Well, that's assuming I got the snail here already. Uh, okay. Now, see, now... Mm, switching the sides of you two... Is slightly problematic. Well, okay, so I can leave this as it is. I can do that. There we go. Lock you up. Do this. Okay, next. You're on here. Where do I want you next? I well, do if hope I. Is all right. If I were to do this, that is additional ascension around the place where I wanted it to happen. Okay. Now I need to climb higher with... Okay, this is uh, starting to make sense. Oops, no, not you. Uh, lock out. Uh, sure, that's fine. Come back in. Big cult. And then without anything additional, you can just climb up there. So that's more height. What am I going to stick these things on? I need to ultimately, like, stack these two on top of each other or something? Something. Okay, so a principle that could be at work here is a couple. First of all, let's do that in this position. Whoa. Uh, next. You go up here. So with a snail's help, I can do this elevation, slide that in, then my snail's free again. And with you on a wide platform, you can just get around the snail. Okay. This is pretty cool. What's my next step? Oh, interesting. Um, hold on. There's a... One option that looks like it might be something here. This. Okay, that's more ascension. Then I can do, like... Some stuff, somehow. All right, this set of tools is turning out to be more capable than I expected. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, this this whole like little system of sticks. <laughs> Look at that! I'm up one more. Okay, and I have the one that I want for the next move. This is very cool. Wow, this is really neat. Okay, then what? I mean, maybe I could make it work if I would. Squish this seaweed over here. So I'm just, like, not touching any of that starfish stuff at all. 
Uh, can't push that down in the place where I want to, so I'm going to have to pick up a snail for some assistance. I choose this snail right here. So then, before I go into the radiation zone, you get to that su side. And now you're a lever. And I am suspecting, I haven't really thought it all the way through yet, but I th think... I'll be able to get this back. From there I can, from one more down... Yes, I can poke in from there. Okay, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, good. So, you go here. This is surprisingly doable. Like, what the heck? <laughs> this shouldn't be working as well as it is. And yet, here we are. This is cool. Still not committing to getting this all the way done today, but I am suddenly feeling hopeful. There's a piece I haven't used in a little while. I mean, I'm sure it's going to come up shortly. It's not the right height for what I want. Okay, I'm going to rescue my shell. It's not time to rescue my shelb. Okay. Um, this piece is going to be stuck there for a little while. I'll just have to be okay with that. So what's my next move exactly? Do I got to like swap this over here. I guess you should go in that position and then I can move this horizontally and then then maybe with this hung off it, if I can extract that, which I assume I can, things can happen. This kind of reminds me of ice what houses in a way. What do think happened here? I don't know. Looks like somebody's salad decided to bite back. <laughs> All right, can I get everybody sufficiently out of the way? Everybody being you, Mr. Crab. So that I can reclaim my thing. I believe so. That's the best position for you. Okay. So then... The seahorse is so tiny. It can fit in all sorts of places. Good. Okay. Progress looks like it's happening think. I'm gonna save again. Nothing appears to have gone wrong yet. So yeah, if I just hang this thing on you, then King Crab can climb to there, and then I can probably move the floor onto that and get him where he needs to be, right? Plausible. Snail, you go here for now. I don't know what I'm doing with you at this point. Well, actually, if you're right there, then I don't need to change anything else to do this. Okay, good. Sure, I'll save. Why not? Next. A floor for the king. Where am I going to bring that from? Mm, this is fine. I think. Uh, sure, I 
Question mark with that. Okay, there we go. A floor for the king. Neat. Please don't step in my head. I, I need it to live. Okay, um, do you need any preparation before you go down here? You do, because of that. Can Shelby provide? I believe so. Uh, yes, that works. Careful where you put this. I'm gonna put it here. That's a good spot. Got a snail on that wall. Oops, got the ability to get this back. So, well, plop. this door ain't gonna work. Which door? You talking about this way, probably? Yeah, like that looks like an exit, but it's, it's not. Okay, so King Crab is in position. I'm gonna stop right here, right now, and uh, get my other two ready for whatever action is gonna take place down here. So the simple thing is for him just to push left and stick a snail on there and just do it. But do I need this object? Let's imagine I don't. With my experience with these things, let's count some stuff. Horizontality. So let's say, okay, let's count verticality first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen potent potential spaces of elevation above a surface for king crab. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Are you serious? Okay, so I think my floor support is here rather than here because if I count horizontality, one, two. Yeah, I got like no overhangs. Yeah, let's count overhangs. So horizontality is any uh, width beyond one. So that's one, two, three, four. I can go out with floor support here. One, two, three, four from there. And that's, oh, hang on, five with a snail. And that's one short. Okay, it is actually close. Uh, with this, I could extend it enough to go from there to here. But the 14 vertical that I get from this will be enough. Like, once King Crab is there, um, moving some of these through there might be a pain. Uh, no, there's enough space for everything, I think. Yeah. Okay. Well, never mind. I think I kind of just got the puzzle done. So I'm not going to try and cart around this impossible-to-handle object. I'll leave that right where it is. Um, sh this is... F mm, mm. Okay, Shelby, you're going to have to come back down. If I undo, is that quicker? It is. Well, this, this door, door ain't going to work. Because you got to push, then back out, because I need enough room for Colt to get in there. Move this thing. And the route from the right is the only one that works for that. Okay, so... 14 ascension ad obtained. Shelby needs to make a journey all the way around to rescue my king. Very doable, I think. Well, now this is just going to be a matter of repeating what I did, but like going even farther and just inserting objects until I can elevate King Crab all the way up to... Okay, let's think carefully about which one of these should be on top. I think it should be this one, because that's too wide, so you can step onto a snail from there, because I'm imagining using Shelby for smooth surface creation down here, because you're probably going to have to step on an intermediate spot there-ish. That might not be necessary, but it probably is. I'd, I'd like to repeat what I did. Hmm, I wish I could watch a partial solution to see what I did to climb from here to here. But I think I can reproduce it easily enough. Alright, you, you're not doing anything for the moment. So, snail. Rescued. And you gotta be repositioned down here. I remember this being a... A long nightmare the first time I did it, and I was prepared for the worst when I have to do even more for a starfish, but 
Wow, this went, like, better than I would have ever imagined. Again, like I said, this is one of the puzzles I was most worried about going into this LP what from the start. Like, I had this one in mind, I don't know. in Looks specific. Like somebody's salad decided to bite back. But I'm glad this was perhaps a worry for nothing. Maybe I'm celebrating early, but what I know is I have all the resources that I technically need. It's just a matter of putting them together. I should get that starfish before I do too much else, because that doesn't... Actually, I should get that starfish. Like now. Now's a great time. Oops. Yeah, I'm gonna need some uh, snail action to... Uh, Rescue some of my blocks. Yeah, Actually, do I? Crawl, snail. Or maybe I don't. That snail does indeed crawl. And sticks to objects and worries about his partner. Those are the primary snail activities. Um, I did this in a weird order. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Oops. Uh, actually, you just need to go to the floor somewhere. Doesn't really matter much where. Uh, okay, sure, I can go around. This is so cool. Alright, things in the way. To the floor. Rescue the king. I'll probably want to get him back on the left side, I would say. Uh, I've put these in a weird spot, but I can fix it. Okay, so um, start with a snail or the floor. It's going to have to be the floor because I need that and a snail in order to get... No, I could do it with just... Okay, now be careful how you use this object. In fact, I'm not even going to involve that until I'm a bit higher up. Pretty sure that's the one I want on top. Okay, now a worry. There might be a nasty phase two to this. In that it may take... Like, my worry is that it's possible to arrange my tower wrong and have the king unable to get to the right spots as a result. I think I should be able to rearrange it at will as long as, at the very least, when he's at this stop-off point, I'll be able to reshuffle those as necessary. So, uh, I want these out of the way so you can get over. And I want a snail on one. Actually, yeah, the snail can just stay there. That's fine. So, you. Onto a floor. This is here now. So pushing this to the right to recover it is no longer possible. But I want to push it left anyway, so that's fine. Don't think that part's a problem. Okay, this was able to go that far down and come back, and he can just get on it right now. Okay. Straight forward. Snail helps me floor him. Uh, does it now? No, instead, I want this up. You can't click on that to move it. Gotta use a seahorse. Uh, this object here. Wait, why do I want that? Hold on. I remember doing things in roughly this order. I guess I have another piece of seaweed that I can just use to get the snail to the other side instead of navigating around the crab. Or maybe better yet... Mmm, can't quite do what I want to do here. Alright, that's fine. So 
So with these things together, and a snail, and a uh, floor. I hope Virgil isn't getting into any trouble. I'm sure he is. He always does. Um, you've stuck yourself there. <laughs> no, I did that. Uh, huh. This doesn't feel like what I did before. Something feels different about this. Crab's like on the other side or something? That's fine. It amounts to enough of the same thing. Does it? Um, I guess I'm gonna have to use this object now, which is fine. I can do that. I think. Well, hold up. He can't step up here. So no, I, I need to unpack these two. And I'm not in a situation where I can do that. No, I have this wrong. Let's rearrange. Okay, idea. Again, this is why I wanted to be able to watch my partial solution, because I don't know what I did to, uh, to ascend you the first time. But anyway, my idea here is that I'm going to ascend to the left instead of the right. And that's going to work better. There we go. Okay, um, then I need that thing back. I remember this. This feels familiar. Okay, so I did do that step, I think. Oh, I have these periodic saves. I could go look back at them because I'm making them like most of the times when I make a meaningful state change here. So, anyway. Uh, Alright, do I want to use the stop off? Maybe it's not necessary. Maybe I can do this without. Probably not. Um, okay, so. Next step, I think, is snail on here. This goes, like, that way, and then something happens. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, so now... Actually, that's fine. It doesn't have to be that way, but it can be. Um, here, Shelby, you come with me. Okay, now, um, sure, let's get to the other side. Yeah, having one extra object as a snail mover is very nice. I'm... there's only so long that I can maintain that luxury. Because I'm gonna have to go to a height where that object isn't, uh, so convenient. Um, okay, that's fine. Ooh. Yeah, so this was the point at which I would have transported this over here to rest you on that platform. I'm not sure I want to do that anymore. What if I don't? Well, you'll need more ascension, and I can give it to you by doing this if I want. Okay, so let's learn to work with a new tool. Okay. That part seems nice. Um... Yeah, I can probably, like, kick pieces out to rearrange them later. Uh, 
Yeah, even if you're not sat on a solid surface, that'll work fine. Is this a good spot for this? If it were here, the main shaft would go... Yeah, this is actually a good spot. This is exactly where it needs to be. Yeah, it would, ha it would have to be here instead of... The ah, I could get some leftward with that, but it doesn't really make a difference. Okay. Uh, and, okay, so I could just bring Shelby here, push these two to the right uh, if I wanted to rearrange that that way. All right. Um, I have this in a weird spot, but I have a fix for that. I think... Yeah, that works. This is so cool. Wow. Okay, what do I think my next step is? I have no idea. Um, I have some idea. So let's see, I want Shelby on the other side, for one thing. Uh. Uh. So I want... Go! Oh, don't do that, yes. Isn't that awkward? Okay, let's do this differently then. No! <laughs> I didn't do it, you did! Uh, uh, Shelby, there you are. Okay, so my idea was I do that to kick this out because I'm gonna need it. This goes crunch, but that's fine. Snail's durable. Uh, I needed... Oh. I need to swap these two because now you can't move left as much as I want you to. Oh, but watch. I can do a thing. Oh, I can do a cool thing. Look at that double push. That was neat. And I can do it again to get this away from the wall. Ha! <laughs> All these fancy moves. Um, that's going to require a snail. Okay. Fortunately, I have one of those. Why did that require a snail? Uh, for this purpose here. Okay, so I can get this up now. Um, I'm, I'm putting King Crab on top of this right here. That's the plan. Because I'd have to get too close to the radiation because of now that see, pinch right there. You shouldn't dump your phosphorus into the ocean. I was thinking... That I wanted something like... Uh, oh, well, oh, dang. Okay, let's do this differently then. Progress feels like it's gotten a little harder. I guess just because my resources are stretched thinner. Okay, that's one more ascension. Now, um, wait, what do I think I'm going to do from here? Oh, this isn't right. To go straight up. Uh, okay, well, 
maybe I can make it work. Ah, so this is just as valid of a top piece as this one is. And I might be able to work with that. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, what do I want to do now? Like, what is my next move? It's hard to tell. I could do something like... Hmm. Yeah, but that's doing nothing for me. I think I'm gonna have to involve this object, like pull it out and... Hmm. Hmm. Or, okay, different idea. Aha, okay. Um, can I make this work? I think so. Uh, uh, no, not quite. Oh, wait. Uh, yes, actually. Yes, I can. Huh. There we go. Okay, I'm basically done. I think. Pretty close. You have trouble getting through, but I think you don't need to, maybe? Let's hope you don't need to. I do hope Shelby is alright. Me too. Hey, look at that. Hey, look at that. My crab is up. King Crab, how you mighty. Thanks for the help of my friends. Uh-huh. All right, great. Now, your friends got to pack things into place so that the last part of this. All right, so phase three starts now. Where does Shelby want to be? Let's put the... Okay, so Shelby can just sit on some random seaweed that I'm not using. How about that? Gonna put a green carpet under you. Um, at least attempt to. There we go. Okay, so... That's meaningful. Uh, I, that's not what I wanted to do, though. Is it? Hmm. I think I did that too early. I need to first insert... Okay. Okay. Ah! Sorry, Colt. <laughs> Didn't mean to. <laughs> What'd you do that for? Uh, I think this needs to go here right now. Crab's gonna push it, it'll be the thing that interacts with the pipes, and then... After I've hung this in the appropriate- oh, that needs to go in there somewhere. Maybe you're my pipe pusher first. That seems completely reasonable. Okay. So let's do that first. What do you think happened here? Somebody salad something something. Looks like somebody salad decided to bite back. Uh, I need to back off for a second and do this. Oop. This. I need to get this object back. That's doable. Hmm. Probably. Okay, things are getting complicated. Let's try a snail insertion. And then a seahorse extraction. I need... Wh why did I need this? I need this to go over for some reason. Ah, to get King Crab on it. But why did I need that? Also, this space is getting a little tight. Let's 
fine. Okay, there was a reason I needed this exact arrangement. I'll assume I'll figure out again what it is eventually. <laughs> uh, I had an idea once. It was nice. It was a good time. I like having ideas. Okay, um... Ah, all right, and my idea just evolved a bit. Okay, well, I think I can do it from here. I need to switch you to the other bit of seaweed. Pull that thing up. You can just go kind of like here-ish or something. Hang on, why is Shelby involved in this? Shelby is not involved in this. Okay, so this is between King Crab and Colt right now. You two need to collaborate to get that into place. Ah, and that's why Shelby is involved. Okay, sure. Now you see, this is why you shouldn't dump your phosphorus into the ocean. Um, hang on. Why Shelby? To, like, Move that down or something? Ah, okay, so check this out. I have an arrangement here, which enables Colt to help King Crab mount up on that seaweed, but, like, everything is very friendly for manipulation. Okay, that is in the right place, I think. Seems right to me. Am I done? Am I done? I'm pretty darn close, I would say. I'm gonna save. Oh yeah, this is extremely close. Shelby's gotta go in a little late, huh? Um, okay, I guess you can hide there for a second while I arrange for... Oh, do I have a Shelby King Crab conflict? Not if I transfer Shelby to this object. I'm not using this one. Oh, that can't fit in there. Can it? Uh, it sort of could, but I think it's unnecessary. I think I have everything I need. Okay. Um, hi, there's a laser here. Oops, there's a laser here I didn't see. You did need to go in there earlier, huh? But then that protrudes and jams up King Crab. Wait, okay, I got more problems here than I thought. Can I, like, swap these two? I don't think I can. Hold up, I think I need to back up. There's a laser I wasn't looking at. And it is not protected against by these things. Okay, what does this mean? If you were here, that protrusion would put King Crab in the radiation zone. Or one of these radiation zones. Wish I had you. That would be nice. So Floor's not going to fix that problem. Floor is just for standing here. Uh, I cannot currently get this object back, or ever again. So I'm going to have to go back to before I put it into that position, I think, which is a fair distance back, but that's fine. Okay, so my arrangement that I was planning on at the end is jammed up by this laser. So I think you must be the blocker for- or hang on, could you- no, you can't go there because that protrusion and all those pipes. Hang on, so one, two, three, one, two, three, happened? that's not enough. So if you're going there to block that laser, that's impossible with respect to King Crab, isn't it? Did 
Did I do something else wrong? Because you're going to get lasered. Wait, so... I can't really see the, the laser shooter in the schematic here. Like, it's... So that's a laser shooter, and... Yeah, I can just barely see that there is one here. Yeah, and this laser, and, you know, I can see the particles where it's where it's landing. Okay, so... So... Let's go back a little bit. Uh, actually... Where's that save? You know, that save is fine. Let's go back to this save. Or, well, you know, since I've done all the things that I've done, let's go back to when I had... Carpet number one up there, but not that to Tromino. So here. Okay. So final arrangement. It's gonna be what now? My protection on the right cannot come from this. If it came from that, then that seems like a problem with these pipes. Pretty sure I want to pack the pipes into the left, just like that. If I could, like, drop this pipe, which I absolutely cannot. Uh, yeah, absolutely cannot. Um, then let's not even finish that thought. So, laser protection here, laser protection here. Objects compatible with that. Not this because of that protrusion. Not this because it's not tall enough. This. And maybe that, but this protrusion looks like a problem. Okay, so the shape that would be created from that is... Oh, hang on! Alternate idea... What if you were in this pit and you're what King Crab stands on, and he, like, goes down with this, but the laser would still hit him, the, the top part of him. So, no. Okay, so if this were blocking that laser... One, two, three, protrusion. Crab would have to touch that radiation. No good. But if I'm using this object to block... Can I insert something from the bottom? Not really, there's not much space. Only thing I can insert from the bottom is this, and I couldn't get it very far. Okay. A pickle. So I am looking at this, so imagine it were here. One, two, uh, oh, this, the lasers are making the grid confusing because they have like their own grid that's offset from it. One, two, three, no, no. One, two, three, protrusion. Good place for crab to stand if the pipes aren't there. But this pipe's got to be pushed to the left, which is going to land there, which would mean that would go... Well, now, hang on. So two pipes stacked up. One, two, three... And then the protrusion. No. I would have to... I'd have to push this pipe separately from that one, which is absolutely doable. I can do that. So drop this pipe oh, down here. Figure it out, dear. I'm in the process of doing that right now. Drop this pipe down. Drop that pipe onto the ledge. You go on top of it. One, two, three. Then the protrusion after that. Colt goes in first. Shelby could be, like, here. And King Crab stands on that. How does that solve my laser problems? It doesn't. Right? Right? 
So I got two on the right I absolutely have to block. One on the left I absolutely have to block. Only one vertical object without protrusions. Hang on, so how high up do you come if, well, here? This space, how do I fill this space? And this space at the same time. This object, over here, is a problem because it occupies this space, which King Crab needs to use. This object... Oh, check it out, there's a notch here. Okay, evolving idea. I actually drop this through the center. Drop this down, shove that over there. How? Okay, well, let's start with the idea that I want to get this pipe down. And I don't need you on top of this. In fact, I need you not on top of it for this part. I do need Shelby up here. Uh... I do? I think so. Yes, okay. So let's say this might be a good thing to do. I can abort it if it's not. After that, it's perfectly reasonable to do this, I think. Now, I would love to engineer a way to somehow push that one. Oh, uh, no, uh, oh. No, before this, so that you could fall down. Because I want this tucked in there. Wait a second! No, the structure of these on the left doesn't matter, because that little notch, King Crab can just, like, shove it into place. So he shoves the notch into place. Okay, let's go back to a, a different time for a moment. Well, no, that doesn't make sense. Okay, so we're gonna have... All right, yeah, so that's what I didn't parse. The force of the crab moving left can poke this pipe to the left into that empty space and give me a clean, uh, yeah, so I was just parsing this as a, a solid surface all the way up. Got it, okay. So, I can position that, he'll poke it into place, therefore I'm not standing on you, I'm standing on other stuff, so I didn't want to do that move. Okay, so I did want to go back how I was. This was the good state. Uh, no. Because I can't get you back now, but I don't need... yes, I do. Sorta. Oh, I need it under this, though. Yeah, this here was a problem. Um, so, fine. Let's just go. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is fine. Uh, actually, is there a better save that I could go from? Not that one. Not that one. Not that one. So, no. Alright, this is as good as it's gonna get. I want this handling tool, I think. Making things complicated, but the, uh, taking a complicated route to something that will ultimately be simple. Just I had to consider the other more complicated possibilities first before I saw would this. You do ah! that simple one would work. <laughs> Didn't mean to. Uh, okay, so, wait, hang on, how does this... Um, what's going on here? 
I don't have room to do what I want to do. Does this help? I think so. It gives me a snail tuck spot. And I wanted this because... Where's this object going? This object is blocking that laser. Also, you are going in here. Yeah, ahead of that one. Mm -hmm. So this one does indeed hang off the side and block this laser. That one goes down a bit farther and blocks this laser. And there's enough room for it to just be there. The floor is going down here on top of those two pipes. Yeah, okay. I know what I'm doing. At least I can uh, pretend. <laughs> uh, okay. And right now, I believe I can insert you. Here. Careful. And that's all in the correct order? Something resembling a correct order. Um... Okay, well, that's all the actual work you did. What's the next... How do I... Hold on. Well, Shelby can extend your reach a little, little bit. Whoa, careful, Shelby. What am I doing at this point? I can do that. I can keep doing that. That's fine. I think think but no I don't I don't want you where you are I want you down um okay well you didn't even need to be involved with that okay so going back and forth here uh Here we go, yeah, so that's that's enough space to shove a snail in there for leverage to do this. There we go. Perfect. Snail ah, whoa! That's safe? Oh. <laughs> okay. This is news to me. So that, while it counts as touching that space for starfish collection, it doesn't for radiation death. Okay. How about that? Um... Okay, you can do this. Yeah, we're all getting very irradiated here, just a little short of a lethal dose. We'll die much later of cancer. <laughs> There's a sunny thought! What am I doing? <laughs> uh, okay, so, this object's gotta go in here. Um, and my snail attaches to it. Here we go, snail rescue. Uh, all right. Like that, like this. Um, this will need to go up and over at some point, but that point doesn't have to be now, I think. Okay, back out. Oops. Back in. Shelby, you okay where you are? I think you are, roughly? Yeah, that should be all right. Ooh. Um, I spot issues. Oh, we got a few of them. Oh, yeah, this is no good. If I... Okay, so hang on. So if I did indeed do that... That's an easier way around. Uh, no, you can go far enough... No, you can't go far enough to get the seahorse in. I think I ought to stick Colt in there to pull that back and put it down here. Okay. There's probably a way I can make that happen. 
when No, there's not, especially because of this pinch. Wait, so I had to move these using that tool a lot further before I do what I do here? That's kind of what it's looking like to me. But then how will I get this tool back? I see a way. Okay, so hang on. Am I sure about this? Because the problem is... If your notch is up on top of that, no one can pull you back left to get it down and poke into that hole. But you're tall enough that that necessarily has to be because of this floor here. Maybe I could have not put this object there yet? In any case, yeah, I need to do something different with those two objects. Which maybe is this for now and I'll, like, claw this one back later. I think that's doable. Okay. Ooh, these last-minute complications. There's a lot of them. It's fine. Everything f feels resolvable in the state that it's in. It's just... I gotta work for it. Okay, I think everything here is as it should be. Uh, here, you just stay there. I can go around. Because I have just enough room to do this. There we go. There we go. Ah! <laughs> well, that didn't work. Uh, <laughs> that's a very alarming sound. Uh, okay, so that didn't work. Maybe I can stop one earlier... Rearrange. Like, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, wait, hang on. Um. Well, no. No, this, this is the earliest point at which cold can possibly get in there because of this pinch. I could move you down, but then I'm not getting you to the right. That is going to the right, right? It is, eventually. Do I just have my things in the wrong order? It'd be easier if these two reversed. Okay, got it. So if those two were reversed. Ooh! Last minute complications don't stop complicating. I just keep going. There might have been an easier route to some of the things that I'm doing, but this is the route I'm taking. Uh, 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 um. Sure, something like that. Okay, so you can do this by yourself. I do that to... I need a snail's assistance. And that's all fine. I can make this all work. Here's a snail bridge. Uh, which is a problem. Wait, hang on. I solved this problem before. I think. Well, alright, fine. Let's do it the long way. Just because I'm not thinking of what the short way was. Uh, let's not get too close to that ceiling. There we go. So the supposition is... With this extra width, I can rearrange these and claw them back to the right much more easily. Safe crab pipes all the way where they're going. Safe seahorse. 
and okay. That laser will be lazing, but it's fine. Because then I'm not on it. Do I need to have pulled this upward? No, because it's going down the pit. Ultimately. Okay. Okay. Now am I there? Maybe. Maybe this can finally be the time. Uh, I do need to manipulate you a bit. Okay. Great. Now all I need is to import my floor here. Got a little snail stash spot there. And I do believe I can import my floor. Yeah, Shelby, you can uh, just crawl in. Hold on, I'm missing a piece. It's you. So, wait, hang on. Uh, uh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, that doesn't work. Okay, shall we go here? Colts, sure, go. I, I don't know. Um, uh, not there. Maybe here can work. If my snail's on the other side, hang on. What is happening? isn't getting into any trouble. What is happening here? I can just push this up and over. Mm, sure. It's that time when I've been puzzling for long enough that I'm, I'm gonna miss like the, the basic things that I have an option of doing. Okay, no, the uh, King Crab needs help. So no, I do, do need to stop what I'm doing and help him. Alright, you just just get off that carpet. Just sit there. I'll replace the carpet easily enough. Like, uh, uh, sure, you know what? I don't even need a snail for this. Check it. There. Um, okay, well, I guess I do need a snail for something. Uh, Alright, why don't you stand on a snail? There you are. Okay. Carpet replaced. Well, okay, you can crawl in there. And now I'm just back in the situation I was already in. Hold up. What's going on here? Why am I suddenly unable to do what I want to do? What do I want to do? I want this out of here. This in here that back under him. Shouldn't that, shouldn't all of those operations be very simple and easy? Like, why am I struggling? Put the snail here, I guess. Uh, here, I guess. Put the snail here, I guess. Yeah, okay. Okay, there we go. It's just that tight squeeze was giving me trouble. I remember having done this before. This is familiar. Uh... Let's go one less. I will need Shelby's assistance for this. In a couple of ways. Just those two, okay. Uh, Shelby needs to dismount. You can probably do that here, because I think Colton King Crab can do the rest. Uh, except I need your help for just a little bit more. Okay, now you can dismount. Hide there for a second. This goes there. Okay, here we go. You go here. You bring that... There. You step on it. You bring it here. You crawl in. Uh, you will need that floor still to actually come around to you, and Shelby's gonna have to help with that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, almost. Hmm. Is it? 
What'd you no, do? No, because I wanted you to go to back, but you went forward. Happens a lot. Uh, something like uh, no, no room. Okay, well that's what I wanted. Okay, a floor. Um, you just hide here for a second. Uh, ooh, careful where you put things. Okay, how am I going to move what I need to move right now? I guess like this. And then... That, that's fine. Okay, you can go ahead and push that. Great, okay, there's your floor. Uh... I need to do a snail swap, I think. You can go ahead and get into your hole. There we go, you're in the hole. I'm done. I did it. Whew! That was a lot. It's fun though. I liked it. Well, we did it, snail. Now what? Please submit DNA sample to open door. Say what? Please submit <laughs> DNA sample to open door. Nuh-uh. I ain't giving my DNA to no door. It surely only needs a little piece. If you snip off the tip of my tail, I'm sure I won't miss it. Wow. That's what DNA is? Just a chunk of somebody? I suppose you could say that. Well, I still got a chunk of one of those rubber green guys in my claws. Let's try that. Oh, that'll work. Entry approved. <laughs> Your violence had a, uh, had a positive effect here. Okay, so, uh, turns out some of my worry was justified, but not the starfish part because like the the staircase wouldn't have helped me much with that last section like refiguring out how to do phase three of that was was the hard part not phase one and two where i had one tool less that was the easy part weirdly enough funny how that works new picture all right Ooh, that's a bunch of small pieces okay this is uh this is gonna be the rest of the video well yes it was always going to be but the rest of the video is not going to be as quick as I was hoping it would be. That's fine. I like this game. I'm cool with spending some time playing it. Uh, T. Okay. There is text. Here's some more. And there's another little bit somewhere that's going to be hard to spot. Yeah, very hard to spot. Okay, um, a chain is here. Is this... A super close-up of King Crab, or no, this is definitely Uber Critter, isn't it? Those weird snail eyes, yeah. Got your, like, knockoff chain, not the official King Crab chain. Okay, what are all these orbs? Somehow these go together, like that, like that, and like this, okay. Uh, where's this bit of chain go? Here? Yes. Um, don't know what I'm looking at here. It's not all the way on the bottom. Could be all the way on the top, I guess. Oh, making any sense of this is going to be pretty tough. Uh, <laughs> so King Crab finally got to learn what DNA is. <laughs> I guess Agent T didn't, uh, didn't answer him when he asked her. <laughs> Why is that so funny? I don't know. Because he's trying to be all tough and cool and like, Oh yeah, I totally know what DNA is. Hey, hey, wait, what? what is DNA? Somebody tell me, please. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. King Crab is quite a character. He's rude and brash, but still fun to be around. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing here. Like, I've put put together about as many pieces as I can make sense of. What is any of this? Okay, there's some, like, wires happening here. There, those went together. Does that help me in any way? I mean, okay, sure, those went together. It helps me in that more pieces are connected now. 
Okay. You look wiry, but in a different orientation. Perhaps not related to these wires. You look like around the same color. You totally go in this area. Maybe here? Yeah. Uh, none of those spots. This looks like a set of teeth or something. There's a tiny bit more chain. Would I have any luck finding that? So you... You're that same blue... Okay, here's the chain. This might go here. Nope. Definitely not. Uh, okay. This might go here. Okay, good. You connected. There's another something that... Okay, good. Weird crab knee. Makes me uncomfortable to look at, but that's, that's how they are. Uh... There's a bunch of crab legs in this picture, I can tell. Let's see, you two look like you want to connect, but there's something in between. Okay, there's a crab leg. Something in between here. Um, okay, that's progress. Yeah, again, this... Ah, uh, that might not connect, but I don't know. That line looks like it... It goes, maybe. You are this. Mm-hmm. Okay, now what? Um, so another crab knee there. I can't tell if that line connects. It probably doesn't. Uh, uh, Okay, hang on, you're a connection. Aha, and then that might go here. No, it doesn't still. Yeah, that does look like it connects, but it, but it doesn't. But it looks like it does, but it doesn't. Let's do, like, brightly colored things up top. Or at least attempt to. This is, I know this is the top of the creature. Oh, you. Aha, yes, I followed a line. Um, any chance that connects there? No. Okay, where do I suppose this text is? It looks like the light stuff is on top, the dark stuff is on the bottom, so I suspect the text is in this row. Ooh, it connected to the chain! Well, that's nice! So yeah, it's somewhere along the line. Hey, look what I found. That. I think this is the bottom of the puzzle. And given the overall composition, what I can tell about it, I'm gonna say bottom left. Could be bottom center, but let's say bottom left. It's possible. Uh, you have a little corner of something on you, but I don't know what that something is yet. Um, okay. Now... Yeah, now what? Dark colors get together, and they don't. I... Where, where do I... Okay, hang on, so light colors. Okay, a connection was made. Are these some of those same wires? Uh, doesn't seem like it. Okay, a connection was made. Yeah, sure, let's just go by color for a moment. Let's see if anything happens. I suppose you might go here, no? No, there's like a little more of these eye stock things, or there isn't, and this is the right edge. Which one of those is more plausible, I wonder? This blue stuff. Is that not the same blue? Apparently not. Wait, hang on. This doesn't go there, does it? No, I've tried that before. Oh, well, I picked up a connection here. Huh. Okay, colors. None of that connects. Okay, so a crab leg somehow gets itself connected to that. Could this be, like, above that? I guess it's possible. Mm, maybe. No. Okay. Uh, 
you're some kind of great. That goes there. That's great. Uh, okay, can I find the rest of the great, maybe? Yes, it's you. There might be more. It's pretty indistinct. You are somewhere in this area. You totally are a match for that. You totally are a match for that, I insist. But not in this way. Okay, yeah, again, just light colors. That's a little bit less light. Um, I don't know where you are. Big pipe. Well, I haven't seen a big pipe anywhere else around here. Oh, dear. All right, chunks of somebody. Pieces of crab leg. So there's a, there's, a, there's a different crab knee here. Okay, again, hang on. Light colors. Everything light colored. Just, just come on up and find yourself a connection. There, you found yourself a connection. That goes there. Uh, those light colors are not related to each other. Maybe this? I mean, like, clearly these are in the same general area somehow. Okay. Okay. Not okay on this one. All right. Um, maybe you can somehow attach to this area? Yeah, you can. Okay. Hey, there we go. It was this piece. So yeah, again, I'm not seeing... Oh, there was another. Okay, this is definitely not the right side of the puzzle. All right. So now I know. Are you left or right? You... Oh, you attached. That's nice. That's probably upper right. So if that were the very upper right of the composition, this piece goes here. Yes. Uh, some of that might attach there. This probably goes here. Yes, it looks like it does. Uh, okay. Yes, that's nice. Little hose thing. Don't know what to do with you. Okay, well, um, light colors, once again. Light colors and some dark colors next to them. Don't know what to do with this. How about if I find the piece that goes here? Okay, hang on, there's like red lights going on somewhere in this composition. That might not be all the way on the right, there might be stuff to its right. Yes, there is. Is there stuff to the left of this, or is this all the way to the left? Um, aha! That piece. Nice. I kept looking at, like, those, and then eventually I realized they're probably eye stocks. They are. Okay, you are knee material. Uh... So many crab legs. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> can you tell? <laughs> yes, everyone can. Uh, these are very, very dark. Oh, you are part of this. Mm-hmm. You are part of that, okay. So, all right, I can do more, I can do dark colored things, potentially. You might go here, you do. How about the piece that goes here? It'll have a little sliver of light on the left and then a lot of dark, dark bluish everywhere else. Not that. Not that. That's crab leg stuff. 
I don't know. Like all these are gonna be very indistinct. This is part of part of this arrangement here. Yes, there. Okay, let's work in the dark colors. Found one. Let's try and determine if this is the side of the puzzle. You could go there, that's... I could believe that. Um... Hmm. I wish I understood anything. Uh, I got a connection. <sighs> Great. That's cool. I got a connection. Uh, uh, Alright, light colored, background stuff. Those connected. You're part of a leg. Hey, that part of a leg. Good. So yeah, there's more light colors here. Where are all my light colors? There's one. Here's one. Okay, nice. Here's one. Up here, maybe? Uh-huh. Pipes. There, that's a pipe connection. Uh, the piece that goes there is really bothering me. Well, it's just gonna have to keep bothering me for a bit. You might go here? You do! There we go. That's a good one. Okay, there's still some pure light colored pieces. There was one, here's another. Uh, here's... this is... this has... Uh, okay, that could go there. It's possible. Um, something that only has light colors. Okay, that actually goes there. I don't know why I'm not seeing this. Maybe there's some dark thing disrupting the light. Or maybe it's part of a larger... No, like... Oh, it's you. There we go. Okay. Uh, so that's all the light colors, I think. Other than the piece that goes here. Like... What is happening? Ooh, okay. Connected. Um, here's a line. Does that correspond? Yes, this. That's a monitor? Maybe? Could be. Okay, you are part of those lines, yes. You are also part of those lines. You are part of different lines. Mm-hmm, not related. A lot of light colors here, but not the right ones. I'm sure I've looked at this piece lots of times. I've looked at every piece lots of times. Okay, well, all of these clearly get together somehow. You'd think. Yes, I would. But somehow, like, look how those lines flew into each other perfectly. They just, they just don't, though. Okay, um, how do I make progress? It's hard. There, that connected. Like, doesn't that have to be somewhere along here? It just doesn't seem like it actually is, though. Pipe. I see. You're, no, not that. That is the same pipe, isn't it? Maybe this goes, like, way down here and is the, the bottom of this whole thing. Or maybe it doesn't. You're pretty light. What could you be? Ah, uh, you could be anywhere. Okay, so, um, things aren't happening anymore. How do I get them to happen again? Okay, that was a piece connected. 
You are totally part of this monitor, aren't you? No. <sighs> okay, dark colors. Dark colors and logo, medium colors and stuff. That line could connect. I can't tell though. All right, that was one. Uh, Uh, do these go like that the other way? No, they don't. Does this maybe connect to you? No. Not here. Um, oh, ho, oh, ho, there we go. That all fixed itself. But none of this goes here, does it? No. Where could this go? Hold on, this can move left. Oh, is that my problem? Part of it at least. Maybe that's my problem, or part of it at least. Feels like Lee? Feels like Lee. Feels less likely. Because there'd be a bunch of other light pieces if that were here. I think it's more likely to be here. Okay, so some of these dark colors maybe go in this area. What's this stuff? I don't know. This still isn't connected anywhere. Oh, there we go. It connected. Okay, so I have the... I have corner to corner. That's great. Um... That's great. Can I find that lower left? I did it. Okay, so. That's a relief. Okay, so there's some lightness there. That explains part of this. Uh, you are looking like you're part of this leg, and you are. There we go. Is that this leg? No. Good, a connection was made. Uh, you're, you gotta be up in that area somewhere, somehow. Uh, just, what, what is anything anymore? Like you especially, you, okay, I connected to something. Aha, it's next to the text, okay. Uh, you're somewhere in that area, I think. Nope, different area, okay. Okay, so there's something light here. Could be anything, anywhere. Um, okay, hang on, I see. Relationships. Uh huh. By the coloration, I think you are somewhere around here. Um, okay, this thing. Nothing. Right. Um,. I don't know. Okay, dark colors. Let's just get every basically black piece down here. There, that one connected. That one connected. Okay. Progress. All right. No progress. Like, this right here isn't quite black. There's some some texture to it. You two connect, like that. And where do you go after that? I don't know. 
the Uber Critter is just such a mess of shapes. It's just hard to make out anything in its general area. Okay, that's where that is. Good, that's a relief. Uh, oh, that's around the eye stalks. Okay, now can I locate maybe the rest of that little blue ring? Unlikely. Hose. Hose? Um. Hose! Okay. Then what? Uh, you don't belong here. You belong somewhere else there. Mm hmm. Okay, then what? What piece could go here? This one? No. But it's nearby. Oh, hang on. You are not connected. Oh, I mistook. Somehow I thought you were actually part of this, but you are not. Uh. Okay, too much assembled. Uh, you go here. Mm hmm. You're, you're totally going to connect there at some point, somehow. Um, this goes... Uh, this connects there. Like, 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 like this. Like this. Okay, that's how the connection is. Therefore, this has to be... Up higher some... Ah, there we go. Then... Uh... All right, I'm just gonna break that. There we go, that's helpful. Uh, okay. Since you're clearly not there, let's put you down here and hope something good happens. Something good happened, okay. All right, for the rest of these, I can kind of just shuffle stuff around. There we go, okay, progress. Um. I am not done. There's still a lot left, but progress is happening. Okay, there's one of those very dark pieces. Really, none of those. Not a single one. So I guess that's not pure black. There's something else going on. Yes, something else going on, that little thing. Okay. Uh, hose. I had this connected, but I had to break it to move something around. Okay, sure. Uh, okay. Uh. Boy, this is exhausting. You go here, okay. Do you go anywhere in this column? You do not. You know what, let's just find this piece of home. I have enough that I can just start doing, just like shoving things into every viable position and just find where it goes that way. Okay. Um, I don't know what I'm looking at there. Nothing in this area, almost certainly. Okay, there's a, the, you, 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 this piece, this piece, that's absolutely findable, right? It's this, I did it. Okay. Okay, that connected, therefore you have to be here, because that's like the only area that, yeah, there we go. Okay, you go here. What are you? I don't know. Um, let's not worry about it. This goes here. This might go here. It does. It almost could, but not quite. None of that, huh? Oh, you go there. Okay. You're part of this. Mm -hmm. You're part of this. Mm -hmm. This one might in this area? That area. That's the rest of the blue ring. It's much, much darker. That's why I couldn't find it. Right. 
uh, a connection was made. Uh-huh. 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 Okay. You're that. You are somewhere in here. There. Mm hmm You're the other one. This goes here. No. Then where? There. Okay, sure. Uh, where was that hose, did I think? I have no idea. Okay. Uh, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, it's a, it's a cable something. <laughs> it's a cable something. All right, and the rest is just black. All right, ooh, that, uh, that took a bit. So this is just like a piece of the uber critter. Close up of its face, what, it, what counts for its face, I guess, kinda. Or like the back of its head. Like, if these are eyes, I think it's looking this way. Yeah, so I'm looking at, like, from the back and slightly to the right over its shoulder. Like, this is its right shoulder. Maybe. I don't know. Uber Critter's a big mess. Uh, hard to tell, like, even what it is. Like, here here it is in more detail. Well, no, we were just looking at this spot. Yeah, that was the front of the chain. So, yeah, just, like, camera angle, you know, pa uh, dolly in a little bit, pan to the left or the right. I don't know. Anyway, something. So, like, yeah, I can see how those relate. Anyway, anyway, anyway. <laughs> wow, the parts of this I didn't expect to take super long took super long. Okay, so, next time, Genetics Division, the one I don't remember. I'll see you then.